under 40 CEOs drive your ambition. Um, so the year was 2013, I believe. Um, we were at the country club playing tennis. And that was the first time we met. <laughs> yeah. Remind you something, what did you think? Let's start with that. <laughs> okay, think thing, yeah. See, we were, we're, I would call it a providential relationship. The, the meeting was not planned, you know, so we had this coach. <laughs> I don't know how you chose the coach. Anyway, I chose the same coach, mm -hmm. you know, so the guy saw the way we play and said, guys, you don't even know how to play. <laughs> why, don't you just, why don't you just play yourselves? You know, I think that's how it started. Looking at you and your rally, I was like, is this guy not better than me? Mm -hmm. Because like everything just flies in when we met. So there was really nothing other than let us have fun. It was power, not skills. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that was it. And then eventually, as we kept playing, you made me an offer to come and be your CEO. Okay, so, so think about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so at that point, the, the business was going through a transformation that I wanted. I, I, I knew what I wanted to do, mm. but I knew I didn't have the skill to do it. Mm. You know, so for me, one of the one of my learnings in leadership has always been know what you don't know, but be convinced about where you're going. Mm. So I had a conviction of what we should be doing. But I was looking for the right person that can take us to that next level. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know how the old thing worked out yeah. because in my mind, would he accept? I like the guy. <laughs> I know he's good for me. But well, the question is, is, would he accept? Yeah. I remembered. Um, so recently, my wife was asking me that, um, what would you say is the biggest thing you learned from working with that king? And I remembered saying that um, it was how to build consensus. Because I'd worked for many leaders who were just about top down. This is what we need to do. Guys, go and do it. Mm. But I thought it was interesting how you were just all about let's get as many people in the management team as possible involved in decision making. Yeah. How, how did you evolve to become that kind of leader? Okay, so it, it's unique in a way for me because I don't think it's a learned skill. Mm. I think it's just who I am. Mm. Mm. Because when you're guided only by what you know, you struggle because you're only limited by what you know. You know, so I've always known that I can only see things in part. You know, and since as leader, I won't be the one going around the streets fixing this stuff. As a chief execution officer, you need the people that will do the real job to do it because there's no excuse for non for non performance. Yeah. You've been able to build an amazing business. Um, I think um, valued almost at 50 billion naira. Oh, thank you. And, and I think the question I keep asking is, did you always know that the business is going to be this big? Or did it just happen? <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. You know, so bo bo both ways. Uh, one is for you to see, oh. you know, so the gap was available. Oh. You know, that market, nobody wanted to go there because it was in a secured market, mm. you know, and you're going to do an unsecured lender, mm. you know, so no doubt you will have doubts, you know, where it's going to be successful. Yeah. But I have no other place to go. Mm. So I left the job. So you went all in? I, you know, I had to. I had to because my wife didn't want it before I left the job that was paying me. <laughs> and I got this job from a company that was not been registered. So, you know, so it was like, you know, are you sure? And I said, let's try. I will do my best, you know. Mm. So, so not like I had a, con a total conviction, but I believe it to a reasonable level that this space exists. And I think that's one of the things that we have to always do because nobody's sure mm. of what it's going to be like. But you um, act regardless. You, 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 do you just have to do something. You have to do it, especially when it looks good to you. Mm. And again, learn to also iterate. Okay, so um, a young man walks up to you and says, I like, you know, your career, the, person the personality that you build, 
and even the businesses that you built, and I'd like to do the same. What do you say to that person? I'll tell him, first thing that will come out of my mouth, don't do the same. <laughs> Find your own. Because we all have a space in life. Um, you, your finding may, dis may, may now lead you to what I've done, which okay. is fine. You know, but the first thing is actually be self-discover. You know, discover who you are, discover what you can and what you cannot do. And then the other thing is that, you know, don't run alone. Don't be a lone ranger on your journey. What do you see in terms of the future of business in Nigeria and Africa in general? I, I think it's in the youth. Oh. It's, in, it's, in, it's in the energy of the youth. Because that's what will define us. It's in how much, how much of, how much, how many of us are willing to solve the problem for them, for the majority of the people. But, you know, just like any other person knows, you know, uh, the, the richest man in Africa is all about what can I do for the majority, oh. you know, so, um, and everything that has been successful, you know, telephoning, technology, is all about how do we solve problems for more, you know, so I, I think the, the next phase of, you know, businesses in this country and, you know, now or in the future is actually how do we solve problems for more. So, um, thinking about young people, I think one of the problems that they encounter in business is fundraising towards um, building their dreams. So, how should a young person approach fundraising in, in Nigeria in general, but also in Africa? Okay, my general, my general idea is no, it's not new to them. It's not new to young man that's gonna listen. Um, they may not get the encouragement they needed after listening though. But you know, I'm just sorry. That's the only way I can say this. Nobody gives funding, you know, for fun. Everybody found success. Success oh. as an attraction, you know. So, um, and the way to measure success is actually like you have the proof of concept. Oh. If you don't have anything that you have proven, if you have not tested oh. with what is yours, nobody is going to come into your hand what is theirs. And you must be able to display that, okay, I tested and this is the proof that it works. And you must also be able to display scale. You know, okay, if I get this, this is where it's going to get to. Oh. You know, so in business is about multiplication, yeah. If I can make one to become two, then someone can give me 10 to become 20. You know, so but we don't always try to display that. So where does it start from? It start from you investing what you have and what you believe. Well, I think what I like is, is I mean, the entire point thing makes 100% um, a lot of sense. But I love the fact that you're talking about build something first, yeah. show us something. Yeah. Nobody funds an idea. Mm -hmm. Like, because ideas, everybody has ideas, you know. So build a prototype, show that it works, yeah. and then raise money to scale. Yeah. Instead of just raising money of uh, business plans yeah. and business ideas. Yeah, it works. I like yeah. it. It's, uh, it's going to work. It's going to sell. Everybody has wonderful ideas. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like that. Let me ask one more thing um, about about credits because you're the, you're the expert as far as credit is concerned. What do you think people can do to make themselves um, more credit worth, worthy in this market? People don't learn to business. Hmm. You learn to people, oh. and um, people only connect through trust, um, and that is a very expensive thing to have. Oh. Um, and how do you build it? Openness, being truthful, engagement, sharing information, being vulnerable. When it's not going well, let it be known. Oh. You know. We have taken stupid decisions before when it comes to investments. Mm -hmm. um, I've regretted some of my investment also before. You know, so nobody is prone from failing at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, but you have to be upfront when you know it's gonna fail. And also, um, people talk to people. Credibility is one. You can you can earn credibility by working it. You can also earn credibility by being introduced as a credible person and life is connected oh. you can't say that no that was yesterday and i made a mistake yesterday but i'm a changed person now. 
<laughs> life is connected. What you did yesterday may haunt you tomorrow. So young people must learn to do that. That you can say, let me, I'm just messing up now because later I will. I plan, I plan I'll, to change. <laughs> I, plan to, I plan to change. When I change, I will better then I'll be exactly. But you know, you won't believe it after I change. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so uh, that is just is, life is up, connected <laughs> is a story. So you know, life is complex, um, and the future is a place that nobody knows to a large extent. So if you were talking to Akin one day twenty years ago, what would you have told that person? Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll just say that. Um, Take the world of tire for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll add that, you know, um, you know, so I say to my children, become the best you possible. Mm-hmm. You know, don't don't have a moment. Try as much as possible to reduce your moment of regret. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You can only reduce, you cannot eliminate. Mm-hmm. You know, as much as you can reduce the moment of your regret. Um, there are controllable factors mm-hmm. and there are uncontrollable factors. You know, so I can I'll say to you, mm-hmm. you know, take life easy. Live every day you are alive. Be in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, have friends, good friends. Enjoy your time while you're here. And work hard oh. at what you know. And just be the best you possible in anything that is yours. And don't don't try to do everything. Oh. Just know something about everything. But be, be exceptional in your domain. Oh. Be exceptional in your domain. And so with that, I can thank you so much for taking this drive with me. This has been such an awesome experience. Learning from your wisdom, picking up um, all the amazing nuggets that you have for for me, for us, and for young people all over the country. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing, awesome, intelligent. That's <laughs> an absolutely wonderful Aki Ademosui. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always honored to be. Around you. And I love your relationship. Under 40 CEOs drive your ambition. Brought to you by Mitsubishi. Shot on Samsung. Masilia Motors, sole distributors of Mitsubishi Motors in Nigeria.